there, welcome to today's practice. My name is Brandy and I'm with Soul Shine Wellness Studio. We're going to get started in downward facing dog. So bring your hands under your shoulders at the top of your mat and then come to tabletop position. Curl your toes into the mat, lift your shins, and then from there send your hips up and back and you'll find that downward facing dog. Take about four breaths here in Down Dog. And as you breathe in, let your breath move in through the nostrils, coming through the throat and into the chest and the ribs, creating a wide breath. And as you exhale, push deep into your toes, send your hips a little higher, and think about reaching your tailbone towards the mat behind you, but drawing the shoulder blades broad cinching your ribs in. Take one more breath here. Maybe turn the head from side to side, just checking out how we're feeling tension-wise along the upper body. A roll forward into high plank. We'll just shift our shoulders over our wrists and our hands are still right under our shoulders. The knees are a little bit bent, micro bent. The elbows are a little bit micro bent. And then tuck the tailbone and broaden again the upper back and feel the strength of your core start to light up in this pose. Take a full breath in. One full breath out. And slowly bend your arms, shift your shoulders forward, gaze forward, and begin to lower your body slowly to the mat. If you find that your hips touch down first, go ahead and lower those knees so you can work on the strength of the core and the upper body. Take your hands right under the shoulders, push deep into your toes, push deep into your hips and roll your shoulder blades down the back. Pick up the back of the shoulders and the torso, let it float towards the sky for Cobra Bhujangasana. And you can find Cobra in many different hand positions. So play around with feeling your shoulder joints, how your elbows are able to connect. Take a full breath here. And exhale, let it go. Palms into the mat, push into the knees and come all the way up and back for child's pose. Touch your forehead to the mat and let your spine elongate and stretch back towards the heels. And just check in with your body and feel yourself connect deep into your mat, creating an earth energy under you. Soften your gaze and begin to let any worries or anxieties float away, giving ourselves permission for one hour to be present in our body, to be full in our breath, and to let the experience of our practice immerse into the physical body, creating a more positive experience, a more positive outlook. Come forward into tabletop once again, curl the toes and send the hips up and back for down dog. Start to walk your feet to the top of the mat and lift your body halfway up with a long straight spine and forward fold all the way down into Uttanasana. Making your way to Ragdoll, grab the outer edges of your elbows, let your head fall between your biceps, engage your inner thighs towards each other and look for some stillness in the mind and in the breath. And then slowly lift the belly and roll your body up to stand. Sweep the arms wide and lift the gaze up. And then swan dive, take the arms out from the shoulders into forward fold. Lift the body halfway up. And then step back into high push up plank. Step to the back of the mat with the toes and keep the shoulders right over the wrists. Take a full breath in as you pitch forward, stacking your heels over your toe mounds and exhale, lower down slowly to the belly. Cobra, lift the back of the shoulders, float the torso, 
Inhale. Exhale, release. Let's take one more Bhujangasana Cobra pose. Push into the toes and into the hips. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more. Move your way into upward facing dog. If that suits your body, straightening the arms and lifting the thighs. Spread your collarbones and think about pushing down to grow up or reach up through the crown of the head. Downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Land in the toes, let the heels get heavy. I'll look forward and step to the top of the mat, lengthening out the spine as you move through the hips. Extend your back halfway up, take the arms out from the shoulders and stand to rise. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, swan dive again, chest is out and then down. Lift halfway up, inhale, press your shins back into your palms. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the back of the mat for high push-up plank, shoulders right over wrists, and then move to low push-up plank and hover. Take your belly down to the mat, set yourself up with a good foundation. Pull the chest forward, up. Coming through upward facing dog. Energize through the base of the palm, out through the finger knuckles, lift the outer thighs and engage your inner thighs towards each other. Downward facing dog from the belly, hug those sitting bones and pike those hips up and back. Look forward and take your right foot with you to the top of the mat. Once again, stretching out those hips to get there forward fold. Lift halfway up, pull the chest forward, extend the arms, reach up through the shoulders, and exhale one more time, swan dive over those long legs. Lift halfway up, push the shins into the palms to reach the spine forward. Exhale, release. Step back, high push-up plank. Big breath in, that exhale will help you lift the belly, carry your body down in one straight line. And then you can find upward facing dog, ground into the toes and the palms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, taper the waist in. As you pull the chest through, take a full expansive breath. Make your way up and back, downward dog. Take two cleansing breaths here. And then begin to travel to the top of the mat. Now bend your knees and sit your hips back and low and sweep the arms overhead for chair pose. Wrap your navel in and think about narrowing your hips. Reach through the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, forward bow. Inhale, lift halfway up. We're gonna go right into low push-up plank. So big breath in to extend, big breath out, land. Up dog, inhale, extend the arms, spread the chest, push into the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now lift your right leg and take a breath with you, inhale. Step between your hands, exhale. Find a good long lunge and then spin your back heel on an angle. Rise for warrior one. In breath. As you exhale, plant your palms down to frame the front foot and step back to downward dog. Lift your left leg, inhale. Step between your hands, exhale. Again, spin your back heel flat, letting the heels line up with each other and then push into the back heel to rise the body, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Take your palms down to the mat, step into high push-up plank, hug the belly in, bend the arms, pitch the shoulders forward, move into upward dog, lengthen the back, downward facing dog. Stay steady in your breath, two cleansing breaths here.
Now walk forward to the top of your mat, lift halfway up, and then forward fold. Push down into the feet, lift the belly up off the thighs as you bow inward. Now sit back into that chair again. Hips are back and low. Sweep the arms over the shoulders and maybe sit a little more deep this time. Make sure that if you do sit deep, you don't let the knees splay out or the feet shift. We want to spiral those thighs towards the bottom of the mat. We want to pull the outer thighs back, roll the belly in, lengthen out the back, and then extend through the fingertips. Take a big breath, forward fold, release it. Now inhale, lift halfway up, plant the palms. Exhale, low push up plank. Inhale, push down into the toes, deep into the hands for upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg, inhale. Step between your hands, exhale. Your back foot lays flat. Rise for warrior one, inhale. Hands frame the front foot. Step back to downward dog. Left foot lifts. Inhale. Step between your hands. Exhale. Lay your back foot flat. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Hands plant. We go from high plank to low plank. And then we move through the arms, making our way to up dog and landing in down dog. Two cleansing breaths. Walk to the top of the mat or jump. Take a halfway lift and let the body fall over those thighs. Now rise up for chair pose. Sit back and low. We have one more round here. Stretch along through the fingertips. On this round, we're going to bring the hands into the heart. So. When we come low with those palms, we want to roll the shoulders down the back and maybe lift the hips a little bit so we can roll the glutes under us and focus on cinching in at the waist and narrowing our hips in. Very important that you don't over arch the back here. So once you're able to arrange that good spine, you can go as low as you want to, but make sure you're able to find a neutral spine and not an over arched spine. Take a breath as you anchor the left elbow across the right knee, exhale, and then start to look for that twist. Pull the, the crown of the head towards the front of the mat, making a nice level chin. Hold for two more breaths. And on your exhale, forward fold on that second breath out. Now rise up for chair again, so again, Come right back into the strength of the legs, the security of the core. Hips are a little bit higher. Wrap and cinch, tuck tailbone down just a touch. Inner thighs engage towards each other. Hands come to the heart. Want to make sure those knees don't shift out of center either. Take a full breath. And then again, anchor. Right elbow over left knee. Sitting low. And then spiraling the chest towards the, le the left. Now start to draw the shoulders down as you reach the crown forward. Let the breath hold the pose. One more. Forward fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. High push up to low push up, shoulders forward, belly up. Inhale, upward face dog. Really hug those inner thighs together. Downward dog. Lift your right leg and bring your foot between your hands. Lower your back heel flat and rise for that good, strong warrior one. Keeping a deep bend in that front thigh. Square your hips to the front of the mat as much as you can. Take a full breath. Hands plant around the front foot. We step back, move to down dog or take a vinyasa flow. 
Then we'll lift the left leg. Inhale. Use the big breath out. Align your movement and your exhale together. Step forward as you breathe out. Lay your back foot flat. Rise up, deep bend in warrior one legs. It's such a pretty day out. Inhale, big breath. And take the hands down to the mat. Step back, move through that flow, high to low plank, back into downward dog. Two cleansing breaths. Now roll forward into high plank and make your way all the way through that good long spine and you can take your feet hips distance apart. Let's roll all the way down or look, excuse me, lower all the way down onto the forearms. Tuck your tailbone under you, press deep into the elbows all the way out through the fingertips, push into your toes and feel length from the heel all the way through the crown of the head, activating the core. One more breath. Now slowly lower your hips all the way down to the mat and flip your toes. And then open up for Sphinx Pose or even Seal, one of my favorite poses here. And as you ground into the mat, we want to think about developing mobility in that upper spine. So some of the ways that we can do that is by playing with the placement of the palms. You can twist your gaze over that left shoulder. And if you do turn the gaze, make sure you stay grounded in your hips evenly. Come all the way back. Come up through the center of the heart line. And then we can, oh, that feels good. Switch the, the gaze over opposite shoulder. Again, just working those shoulders a little more. Take a full breath as you think about breathing up and out. So think about the Vayu energy up through the crown of the head and then out in like a big Y shape. Inhale. And as you exhale, focus on the center of your belly. Lift it and contract inward. And then lower all the way down. Turn your head to the left and take your right arm out into a T shape, opening up to clock pose maybe even scorpion and if you do come into a good scorpion you can bind your right arm to your left toes pull the heart line towards the throat and lift the front of the hips up towards your ribs this sun feels so good it feels like i'm back in the hot studio which i am so bad miss turn your head to the right Take a full breath, and as we exhale, roll onto left hip. Maybe even take scorpion here, where you bind left hand to right foot. Ground into your bottom hip, ground into your bottom foot and your bottom shoulder. And let the breath penetrate all the way into the back of the ribs. Now come all the way back to the belly re-establish that flat back then curl the toes into the mat and push into half plank or high plank and make your way all the way up and back into downward dog take your right leg and lift it long behind you and now bring your knee to your nose and your shoulders over your wrists and lift your left leg long behind you again Curl in one more time. Knee comes into the nose, shoulders over wrists. Touch your knee and your nose together. Look forward and kick the foot between the hands using the strength of the belly. Ground into your back toes and rise all the way up for crescent warrior lunge. Finding a good connection to your lower half. Take that front hip, pull it back. Let the back knee bend and then slide the ribs back as well opening up the chest take a big breath and as you exhale a little hover over that that mat through the back shin now inhale pitch forward and straighten the back leg as you airplane the arms exhale sweep the arms overhead and stretch long into rocket lunge now sweep the arms low and behind you again airplane arms 
Now bring the hands to the heart, lift the torso, working on that good strength, hover the back shin. Inhale, pitch forward, straighten the back thigh and flex it. Exhale, arms overhead. Inhale, arms back behind you. Exhale, one more time, hover and lower. Inhale, pitch forward, airplane arms. Exhale, reach overhead. Good. Now, right here, we're gonna bring the hands into the heart, keep your hips nice and square and then twist towards your front thigh. Keeping that back thigh nice and lifted. Engage your inner thighs towards each other. Pull your inner heel towards the midline of your mat. Now gaze to the big toe, plant the palms around your front foot and step back into downward facing dog. Let your feet pedal out. Take a moment to reach through the glutes. Right leg will lift again. Take a full breath in and step right there between your hands, pulling the knee through the nose and then the heel lands between the hands. Lay your back heel on an angle, cartwheel all the way up and open, warrior two. Now in our warrior two, it's okay to narrow your feet together so that you can hug your heels in and feel a connection to the midline of your body. Also, you wanna be able to access your pelvis. So if you're so extended and you're taking up so much space on your mat that you can't actually control your own body, we wanna think about shortening that stance just a little bit. So pull the chin back, reach through the crown of the head, and then from there, bend the front knee. And once you bring that front knee over the ankle, See if you can ground into the back foot and you can open up to the side. Hips can open to the side as much as you can without letting your knee fall inward. Take a big breath and be proud in the chest, very warrior-like. We need that fortitude and that strength right now. And as you exhale, lift the front of your hips up a little bit more and maybe get a little lower in that lunge. We'll lift up for Peaceful Warrior. Bring the arms all the way, or the right arm all the way up overhead, and then let the right hand touch the upper back as you take the left hand and grip the right elbow. Take a big breath into those ribs. And then as you exhale, unwind and reach forward. Split your arms here. So we're going to take our right hand to the inner calf and bring our left palm to the sky for extend or for side angle pose. Draw the ribs back and think about creating a lot of space from the back thigh all the way to the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale here. Come back to warrior two, land your gaze, and then take your hands down to the mat. Step back into downward dog. Roll forward into high plank and feel your good breath. Hands are right under shoulders. Pull into the strength of your center. Walk your right hand to the center of the mat and spin your heels to the right. We're lining up for side plank pose. In side plank pose, if you use your lower body more than your upper body, you'll develop some really great uh, activation in your gluteus medius your balance muscle. So stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and pull the heart forward. Breathe in. Stay grounded in the exhale. Stay expansive on your inhale. And then take your left hand down to the mat. Come back to high push-up plank. And pitch forward, take that low push-up, moving through the arms to upward dog, expand and broaden, move into downward facing dog. Lift your left leg, bring your knee to your nose for a cheetah. Lift your left leg. Now again, stack your shoulders over your wrist, tuck tight and lift the core. 
Now look forward and kick your foot between your hands. Push into the back toes and feel them. Push into your front heel and feel that. And then from there, rise up, crescent warrior lunge. Now, once again, we arrange our body here. Take your feet a little bit wider if you need to. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Knit your ribs together. Let your back knee soften so you can tuck your tailbone under. And then pull that front hip straight back. And the knee is over the ankle, east to west and north to south. So we're right centered over the ankle with that front knee. Now inhale, arms come overhead. Exhale, pitch forward, airplane those arms. Lift high in those back toes. Good, now reach the arms overhead. Bring the hands into the heart and hover that back shin. Soften the mind and stay in the breath. Pitch forward, airplane the arms. Reach overhead. Hands come to heart, lower that back knee. Building that deep endurance strength in the body. And then hands come into heart. In breath, one more time, pitch forward, arms overhead, hands come into heart center and anchor into a twist, a crescent lunge twist. Parivrita Alanasana. Let the twist ring out the middle of your back. Hug your inner thighs and stay full in your breath. Look down at your big toe first, then take your hands down and then step into down dog. Lift your left leg and step between your hands, rising for warrior two. Lay your back foot flat and then come all the way up and around, opening up for warrior two legs. Take your outer hip and roll it under, pulling your inner thigh back, and then draw your ribs in and straighten your back leg a lot. Arms go along from the shoulders. We start to square the hips and the shoulders towards the long end of the mat. Stay full in the breath. Get a little lower as you feel that stability deepen and that strength increase and we'll come up for Peaceful Warrior. Left hand to upper middle back, right hand grips elbow. Take that good breath. Now unwind, come all the way forward with the, the body and then go ahead and split those arms, stacking open for side angle pose. Feel the breath. From the back thigh all the way to the center of the heart line, is one straight energetic line. Hold for three. Hold for two. Gaze follows front fingers, warrior two. And then we take our hands down to the mat as we step back, downward dog. Roll forward into high plank. And then take your left hand to the center of the mat. Spin your heels left and reach up through the right fingertips and spark upward through that top arm, but ground downward through that bottom foot. High plank pose, low plank pose, upward facing dog, big smiling breath, downward facing dog, land. Walk forward to the top of your mat. Lengthen the body halfway and forward fold down. Rise up to extended mountain pose and then bring the hands deep into the heart line. So standing somewhere where you can maybe have a wall if you're new to yoga, otherwise a chair is okay or nothing at all. We're gonna find tree pose. So lift your right thigh and then plant and plug your right heel onto your left inner thigh. 
bring your hands to your heart. And you want to think about bringing that inner thigh into the heel and the heel into the inner thigh. Very important. Hold here for about 10 counts. Focus on developing strength in the standing foot. And if you're new to yoga, you'll notice your, your foot gets tired really fast. Take a break and get back into it. Your feet will strengthen. As you roll those glutes under you, you may be able to press your right knee back a little more without twisting the torso. So stay squared. One more full inhale. And exhale, release that right foot back to the mat. Sweep the arms high overhead and then bring the hands down into the heart line. Recenter yourself and collect your breath. We're going to bring the right knee, same leg, up to the chest. Stand really tall, bring your glute under you on the left side. Grip the big toe. Now if that's too much, just stay with the shin. Breath here. Think about upward through the crown as you send the heel forward any amount. One more breath. Now maybe you stay there, maybe you challenge yourself by opening to the side. Now we have to come back with the same control that we went in. Bring your awareness to your pelvic floor, focus directly at the base of the spine, and then pull the foot back towards the body, release and plant. Inhale, full breath. Exhale, rinse as we bring the hands back into the heart. We'll bring the left knee up. We're gonna find tree pose on the, uh, moving the left leg standing in the right leg. So pull your left heel up to your right inner thigh. Think about taking your inner right hip to the left. Marry the heel and the inner thigh together and feel those two become one energy. And soften your gaze and soften your demeanor, but draw more strength into the center of the belly. Maybe even try a reverse namaste, which is a very nice arm position to take in tree. And if you do start to press that left knee back, make sure we're not rotating the right ribs forward. One more breath, full inhale. Full exhale, let it go and then slowly bring your leg back to center and release the foot to the mat. Rinse, inhale, and exhale. Every time you take a deep breath, you tell your nervous system that you're safe, that you're okay. So maybe we'll do that one more time. Inhale, full sweeping breath in, and exhale. A very good practice is, is to just stop a couple times a day and breathe. Breathe deep and breathe slow and just tap into where you are in your physical body, how you're feeling, where the tension is. And we're coming to big toe series here. Pick up your left knee, grip the shin and stay here. Or grip the big toe, come to an upright vertical torso. Think down with the right inner heel, up with the crown of the head and send the left heel forward any amount. Five, soften your gaze and focus on something non-moving. Open up to the side, slow and steady, keeping your awareness right at the base of the spine. Very nice, and then bring the leg back to center. The heel comes towards the body, no rush in yoga. We're never trying to go fast. We're always trying to be in control of our body at all times, and then release. Big rinsing breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Take a bow over your legs and let your head fold into your shins. We're gonna come into crow practice. Take your hands under your shoulders, about shoulders distance apart. And this is very important here. Wrap your elbows in. So we wanna think about in, but the hands stay placed the same. Now lift your heels, keep your big toes together, but the heels will come apart a little bit so you can get your knees to the upper arms. Wrap those elbows in and then bring your body weight forward so the elbows are right over the, the wrists. 
Now from there, feel the, the finger knuckles, feel the fingertips, lift your belly, gaze is forward, core is tight. Maybe you lift your toes, maybe you don't. It's okay wherever you're at today. Stay solid in the breath. And then set the feet down. Reach up overhead for chair. We'll take one sun B. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway, go right into low push up plank. Belly up. As the arms bend, upward dog, roll those glute mounds in. Downward face dog, land it. Right leg high, inhale. Bring the, the foot between your hands, exhale. Back heel up flat on the angle, inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high plank. Now inhale, walk your right hand to center of mat. Exhale, lift left fingertips towards sky. Left hand down, inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward face, long spine. Exhale, downward face. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step between your hands, exhale. Lay your back foot flat. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. I have a moth that keeps landing on me. Uh, inhale, peaceful warrior, up with the ribs. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Spiral open. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, left hand center of mat. Exhale, side plank. Inhale, right hand down. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward face dog. Downward face dog. Walk to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift and forward fold. Now rise all the way up and take a big sweeping breath in. And then bring your hands deep into the heart center. We're going to take our hands around our hips. And going back to standing in the right leg, lift your left thigh and think about connecting to the core and to the hip flexor. So one way you can do this is by taking your hand and pressing it into the thigh and press your thigh into your hand. Square the gaze, square the hips, square the shoulders, flex the toes and the ankle. And then from there, begin to hinge up and over that right standing leg and see if you can keep everything square on your mat. Tuck your tailbone. When you do that, you'll feel your energy lift up. Squeeze, I'm about to lose it here. Squeeze your left glute, roll your ribs in. And then from there, we can take the palms back by the hips for Dekasana airplane pose. Pin the shoulders against the back and broaden the chest. We don't wanna go into a cobra back here because we don't wanna disengage the core. Keep the core lifting, lifting but still work on developing strength in the upper back by packing your shoulders and pulling the front of the heart forward. Now from here, take a forward fold, lifting your left leg high and bring your right hand right under your right shoulder and turn your left knees and toes towards the left. Pull your ribs back once again. Take your left arm up and stack over the shoulder for half moon. Push into the left heel, maybe lift the leg a little higher, and then take a forward fold. Sweep arms up overhead. Let's see if we can do that sequence on the other side. So now stand in the left foot and lift your right thigh. Press your thigh into your hand, your hand into your thigh, and automatically, hopefully, you feel the belly pull back and you feel the hips flex deep into the body. That's your psoas. The heel comes back even a little bit to help engage that hamstring. Soften your neck, your gaze, your inner thoughts and your jaw. And then from there, 
continuing to pull up and in. Lift the front of your hips towards the ribs still. Push that right heel back, hinging over left hip. I'll work on that upper back here. Draw the strength of the upper back into a good active state. Straighten the arms and feel your triceps flex. Deck cost in an airplane, just like we're skimming along the horizon. Pull the belly in. Now as you exhale, think about grounding a little more, but becoming a little lighter in the demeanor of the pose. And then take that forward fold, lifting your left leg, your right leg high, excuse me. Left hand right under left shoulder. Drop your tailbone back and turn your right knee and toes towards the right. This is my hurt foot, and so I'm rebuilding strength. I have a foot injury. So my left side's always wobbly right now. Draw the heart forward, lift the front of the hips towards the ribs, extend through the crown, push back through the heel for half moon. Woo. And then forward fold, let it go. Woo. Sweep up, inhale, big long breath. Exhale, hands come into heart. Going back to standing in the right foot, lift your left leg, inhale, airplane back, exhale. Now find standing split once again, hands to the mat and step all the way back to the back of the mat with the left toes, finding high crescent warrior. Take a full breath in as you lift up with the fingertips, sink down into, the, into that back knee, just let it hover off the, the mat behind you, finding a good strong foundation. Lower down and inhale up and around warrior two. Inhale for peaceful warrior. Straighten the front leg and then up and over that right hip. We want to make sure that this is very comfortable in the hip joint. Take your hand to the shin, right hand to right shin or thigh. Ground into your foot and then open up for triangle pose. Take a full breath here. As you exhale again, roll the glute mounds in. Push into the big toe, the big toe mound, the inner heel and then out through the outer heel as well. Warrior two, come right back through the fingertips. Big transition here. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Come up out of the pelvis with the ribs and the breath and exhale, reach forward and long. The hand's gonna go past the toe on the right leg and we're gonna see if we can find that half moon one more time coming all the way up and expanding maybe a little bit more. Ardha Chandrasana. Spiral your inner thighs together. Left hand to the mat, forward fold and release. That was a good sequence there. Inhale, arms high, extended mountain. Up with the chest, down through the feet. Bring the hands into the heart and settle. Let's try that same sequence on the opposite side. My mat is getting high. <laughs> My deck is like 150 degrees in the summer. Okay. Lift your right leg. Again, pull in. Think about the spine staying long. No weak spots in the spine. The spine is malleable but firm. We're going to find airplane. So move through airplane pose first. And then take your forward fold. Gaze still is forward. Look for the back of the mat with your right toes. Ground into back toes and front foot, crescent warrior lunge. Inhale, and then we'll hover again. Use the control in the body, maintaining no fast movements here. Working both ends of the working zone. And then inhale up and around, open up the back foot. With ease, with control, with focus, land for warrior two. From that warrior two, maybe get a little deeper, a little lower, but hold that pelvic floor in. And then sit back for peaceful warrior, straightening that front leg, hug inner heels together, come up and over pelvis, not overarching the back. So maintain your good core strength and then tick tock the arms here, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, and open up that energy. Ground into the foot, 
energize through the back heel, spark up through the fingertips, and find that softness in the pose. So we look at strength and softness simultaneously. Warrior two, inhale, exhale. Come up and around for peaceful warrior. And now lengthen all the way forward. We're gonna look for half moon again. So transfer the weight off the back foot into the front foot only. Ooh, and see if we can find that slow movement into half moon, decelerating our body. So using our muscles to not fall into the pose, but glide and move into the pose. One breath and take that forward fold release. We're gonna lower our hips down to our heels and have a seat, preparing for boat pose. So as we come into boat pose, you can roll back, you can bring the shins to tabletop, or you can bring the feet down to the earth. So whatever suits your body here. Roll the ribs in, lift the front of the heart, and drive the sitting bones deep into the mat, and hold here for five. You can make this harder by bringing the hands, not really gripping the head, but just resting to the outsides of the head. Three, two, and then on one, we'll go ahead and send the legs long and roll all the way down to our flat back. Hug the thighs in, give yourself a good squeeze. Tight little ball. And then bring both legs to the left and take your gaze over that right shoulder. Bring your legs through center and take your legs up and over left shoulder. Come all the way back through center, big tight squeeze, inhale, make your way into high plank pose. So I'm just gonna swivel around. High plank pose. Now from your high plank, we're gonna take our elbow plank and we're going to take our left knee and tap our left tricep 10 times. We have five to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hips down to the mat, rest or find seal pose. Drop the shoulders low down away from those ears. And more than just bringing the shoulders low, think about tapering your waist in. So use the muscles of your back to draw the back of your waistline in. And release down. Now elbow plank opposite side. Ready, steady, inhale, exhale, tap 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Ugh. And hips down. Inhale, seal or rest. Exhale, belly in, taper the waistline. slowly release down. Take your hands, float them behind you for locust. In breath, reach back towards your heels, toes float. Out breath, carry the hands up to the outsides of the ears, the head, and then extend from shoulder. Find locust, 10. Tap ears, float, nine. This is so good for you. Eight, seven, inner spiral your shoulders. Six, five, four, woo, three, two, one more. Big reach, big float, and release some rest. Reach behind you, grab your feet inside or outside. You can draw the shoulder blades together, but think about inner spiraling the back shoulders towards the sky. Press the feet into the hands. 
draw and engage your inner line towards the middle and then let the pressing in of the hands float the chest for bow pose. One more breath here and then release. Rest your opposite cheek on the mat. Push all the way back into child's pose. Set your hips to your heels. And we're gonna do camel pose today. I don't normally teach camel pose, so this will be a good change of pace. I'm gonna teach camel pose with a single arm. So bring your arms overhead, lift all the way up through the fingertips, and this is very important. I'm gonna switch this really quickly because it's on low battery. We're almost done though. Tuck your tailbone under you and squeeze your inner thighs in. Left hand goes to either to the low back or you can slide the left hand down the thigh and then start to find either your back calf or your back heel. As you continue to reach upright through right fingertips, take your left hip and push it forward. Square your hips, square your shoulders, and then come upright left fingertips high same thing other side very important that you don't over rotate here drop your tailbone under squeeze and engage your inner thighs push that right hip forward as you lift the right side of the heart lift the left fingertips now you'll do that one more time on each side or you'll try two hands take a tucked under tailbone his sit the hips down to the heels roll the ribs back and in and bring the hands to the heart a cleansing breath here. Camel pose can be pretty intense for a lot of people. Now come to hands and knees pose, tabletop, and bring your right knee to the inside or the outside of the right wrist and bring your right heel under your left hip. Now shift your weight to center and push down into left toes and right foot. So right foot presses down, left foot presses down. Your right outer knee presses down as your grounding energy. Take a breath, keep centered between the legs, and then any amount you can fold and let that hip release start to do its work. Let the breath flow long through the spine. Sit off to the right hip very carefully and bring your left foot all the way up and around. Sit tall, shifting once again the weight back to the center of the pelvis. And then as you exhale, twist your gaze over your left shoulder, lifting the belly up and away from the outer edges of the body. So think about pulling your belly into the midline. Come all the way back around. Take that same leg with no hands, sweep it back and find down dog. Come to hands and knees, tabletop pose, and bring your left leg forward. Same thing, now we'll take the left heel under the right hip, press into right toes, left heel and left knee, and shift your weight back to center. Take a big breath. If this is too much for you, I didn't say this on the other side, but you can put a prop under your outer thigh or hamstring, like a pillow or a block, a book, and that will help you release out of the pose a little bit, giving you a little more room to breathe. And once again, let the breath flow up the central channel and cascade over those areas of tension, such as the neck, the ears, the thumbs, behind the eyes. And then shift your hips off to the left. Bring that right leg up and around. Then shift your weight back to center. Inhale, up through the center spine. Exhale, twist. Pull the belly into the center of the pelvis. Unwind 
behind your body. With no hands, take your right leg up and around, downward facing dog. We're gonna face the back of your mat, lower all the way down, giving ourselves one more big squeeze in. Plant your palms into the mat, stretch your legs to the sky, and with a full inhale and a full exhale, press into your palms, your arms, and push your heels over your head for plow. Now, if you engage in plow, roll your glute mounds together, push the inner heels to the back wall behind your head, and hug and engage your inner thighs, you'll feel a different um, energy happen in this pose. Take a full breath. Exhale. Now slowly lower your hips all the way back down, bone by bone. And make your way into fish pose. Stretch your legs long. Take your hands and bring the thumbs right under the, the glute crease. Roll your elbows into your side body, and as you push into the elbows and the tailbone, let the chest float as if it were floating to the top of the water. Breathe across the collars and the, the collar bones and the chest. Inhale. Full exhale. And then slowly release all the way down. Stretch your arms wide with the palms facing up in a receiving position. Take your feet out wide, giving yourself plenty of space. And just let the breath start to fill you and then deflate. Letting the breath become less forced, backed with less work and more in a natural state. Just feeling the wave of the breath come up through the feet, up through the hands, into the arms and the legs, and making its way like an ebb and flow, just as 